All right, whenever we begin uh, working on puck control, the, the most important thing is our grip. So I see a lot of players, uh, they're gripping the stick wrong. Right now, what I've got here is perfect. I've got my thumb starting pointing down. I've got all my fingers and my thumb wrapped around this, uh, the, the top of the shaft right now. If I see players starting like this with their thumb pointing to the side, again, I'm only gripping it with, a, uh, with two fingers and a th half a thumb right now. So make sure your thumb always points down, most important part. From here, I can rotate it from left to right. I can do whatever I'd like with it, but they go together as a team. I never disconnect my glove to my shaft here. These go together as a team. When I do this, watch my puck and my blade. Uh, when I bring it to my forehand, I'm going to turn my wrist over and I'm going to shadow the puck on its forehand side. And when I bring it to the backhand, I'm going to shadow the puck on its backhand side. All right, I don't want to see it ever blank like this. We want to shadow it on both sides. My bottom hand is always going to come along for the ride here. Uh, so it's providing support uh, when I move it from left to right here. Okay, definitely a key, key aspect. All right, Ryan's got a nice smooth stick handling uh, stance here. Again, he's got his head up right now. Nice smooth stance, um, and his top wrist is rotating nice and well. Bottom hand is always there for support. So now when Ryan does this, again, he's got uh, uh, three times he's going to stick handle on the, on the forehand side, three times he's going to stick handle on the backhand side. So we're stick handling all the way around our body here. Again, top wrist is always rotating, bottom hand's always there for support. One leg now, when he does this drill, I want to make sure that not a lot of weight goes to the stick. We don't want to place all of our weight on our our bottom hand of our stick. Um, when he does this again, it should be still nice and smooth, just as smooth as if he did it on two feet. Good, Ryan. So he's going to stick handle three times on one side, cross his foot over, stick handle on the other side, and then be able to cross back. Again, um, every time that he does this, he stays in a nice little stance, keeps a nice, um, nice strong grip on his stick as well. Watch when Ryan does this now, he's going to slide his hands together and apart. So when he tucks it in tight, he's going to slide his hands apart and he slides them right back together. So he's got maximum reach here. He can reach as far as he can on the left, on his forehand and on his backhand side there. Good, strong slide. Nicely done. All right, when we do this now, we're going to work on a little bit more of advanced stick handling. So I'm still using two arms. My top one, again, it's going to reach as far as I can in front of me here. I'm going to toe drag the puck in so the blade is attached to my puck here. I'm going to snap my wrist out to the side so that the puck finishes always in between my feet here where it's nice and flat. My bottom hand is always going to come along for the ride for support and it's going to slide from together to a part where again it finishes between my feet where it's well protected. Okay, if my left leg is ever in the way because I'm a lefty, I'm going to almost kick it right behind me and stop so that I've got all my weight on my right foot. Good, when Ryan does this now, again, he's going to tuck it in as quickly as he can, still reaches nice and far, slides that bottom hand right down, right? Still gets that right leg out of the way so he can keep it right in between his feet where it's well protected. Nicely done, Ryan. That was perfect. Good, same type of thing now. Instead of reaching in front of my body and my arm finishing out to the side, we're going to do it now from the side. So we're going to reach from the side, and now when I finish, I'm still finishing on a flat blade, but now my arm is going to finish in front of my body, still nice and straight, and of course, I'm still sliding my bottom wrist. My left leg is in the way. I can't toe drag it to here. I want to be able to toe drag it right into my right skate. I reach as far as I can. I show the puck, and I tuck it in as quickly as I can in between my feet again. All right, when Ryan does this now, again, he's gonna reach as far as he can, still show the puck as far as he can, and then again, he snaps the puck away by sliding that bottom hand in as quickly as he can. All right, nicely done, Ryan. All right, with a drill like these, again, we wanna do most of these drills uh, in motion. We're gonna kinda of switch everything up. So I can stay anywhere I want inside the circle, but I'm gonna stick handle in tight. I'm gonna stick handle to the left side of my body, to my backhand side. I'm gonna do it on one leg, again, for control. Nice, quick balance drill as well. Do the same thing on my left. I'll also work on picking up my feet. So a lot of the time we plant our feet uh, and we've got pretty good puck control that way. Here I actually want to pick up my feet and do the same type of smooth crossovers. The next one and the last one would just be reaching. So it would be reaching out to the forehand, reaching out to the backhand, maybe tucking it in, toe dragging it in from different angles, right? This is a really basic puck handling drill you can do around cones, with or without a lot of stick handling. Make sure your head's up, you go into and out of the turns with speed, and don't let that puck slow your feet down.